Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the best plugin for Final Cut Pro X. One of the questions I get most often is what camera am I using? And I think people confuse uh, the picture quality or I guess the look of the video to the camera. They, they think that by buying a very special camera body, they're going to achieve the same look. And that's not often the case. A lot of the picture quality or often the, the impression that it's an expensive camera comes down to the color grading. So when it comes for me to when I, whenever I produce a video, I focus a lot on color grading. That's why I want to talk about this plugin that I have for Final Cut Pro X called Color Finale. When it comes to editing, I think it's best to keep it very simple. That's why I don't use much plugins. I don't use special effects or any kind of fancy features because uh, you'll find that later down the line, it looks cheesy. So let me quickly run through Color Finale. Uh, the first thing you're going to get with Color Finale is this adjustment layer. If you're familiar with Adobe Premiere, this comes standard. This is how you color grade. You use adjustment layers. And the nice thing about adjustment layers is that you can apply uh, uh, the color grading to multiple clips uh, you know, along your timeline. So that's awesome right there. So this just saves time. Now, if we apply this Color Finale to the adjustment layer, now we can... Um, get to the color grading and you can see here the uh the first tab that you get is the color wheels and this is awesome because you can quickly make changes to your footage let's see and you can warm it up very simple it's all to taste so the next thing is the light utility uh there's different folders you can create about the ascent from color finale and here let me show you this let me close down the inspector or that uh, the browser and color finale comes with this thing called the LUT gallery and it allows you to preview different LUTs in that folder. So I have this here, the ascend folder and you can preview different ones. And if you want to apply a certain LUT, all you have to do is, uh, let me see, let me find one that I like. I like this one called grit. You double click it and it applied it. And now I can turn down the opacity if I need to. Boom, boom, that looks good. So the next thing, I'm gonna run through it quickly, is the, let's see, the vectors. Vectors is nice because you can shift certain uh, vectors. Like, let's say I wanted to make this sky a little bit more aqua. I can go to the blue vector and shift the hue. And as you can see, I made the, um, I guess, the blue vector more aqua. So that's pretty nice. You can also shift the skin tones, like the reds and the yellows is usually what affects the skin tones. And you can make those changes very quickly on the fly and also correct for skin tones because you know a lot of LUTs affect the skin tones. And that's how I've been able, uh, let me show you, to correct for skin tones because let's say here I applied uh, some skin tones corrections using the red and the yellow. And if I uncheck it, you can see now my skin tones look a, lot, a little bit more yellow. Now when I apply the vectors correction, this specifically affects the skin tones. Like I mentioned, the red and the yellow that's very powerful to have. The next thing is um, uh, curves. And if you like the vintage faded look, you can quickly achieve that using the curve. So that's what I did here. And you can always uncheck it, check it and see what you like. And you can also turn off the whatever effect you don't like just to see what, what each effect does. Like the light utility, as you can see there, um, sometimes uh, you know, I do this just to make sure that I, I, I'm doing what I need to do to get the skin tones right. That's a lot I ran through, but uh, I just want to show you that how powerful Color Finale is because you're not going to get this from the, the, uh, the standard color correction that's here with uh, Final Cut Pro X. It's very standard. It's, it's, it's not nearly as sophisticated. So I think for a hundred dollars is worth the cost. And I'm just, I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm making money off of it. I'm not being sponsored by Color Finale. I, you know, it, there's no affiliate links or anything like that. I just think it's the, the best inf investment you can make. This is how you can make your images really pop and give it that distinct look you're looking for. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.